Welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So right here, we have the square root of x times the square root of x times the square root of x. And what we're first going to do is we're going to square both sides. So we're going to take the square root of this side, or sorry, we're going to square this side, and we're going to square this side. So now we have, well, this, this side squared, this is simply going to cancel out this square root, our first square root. So we're going to have x times the square root of x times the square root of x. And for this side, we're just going to have 9 squared. We're going to leave it like that for now. We're not going to change it into 81. And now what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides once again. So if we square both sides, we get, well, x squared, and then this is going to cancel out this parentheses. So it's going to be x squared times x times the square root of x. And this is going to be, well, we have 9 squared squared, right? And let's just say we have a to the power of 4 to the power of 6, right? Let's just say we have this then this will equal a to the power of 4 times 6. So similarly, in this case, if we have 9 to the power of 2 to the power of 2, this will equal 9 to the power of 2 times 2. And 2 times 2, as we all know, is 4. So this is 9 to the power of 4. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides one last time just so we can get rid of this square root. We're squaring all these sides to get rid of all three of these square roots. So if we square both sides again, we get, well, x squared squared is x to the power of 4 times x squared is simply just x squared and the square root of x squared is simply just x and all of this is equal to 9 to the power of 4 squared and remember this is equal to 9 to the power of 4 times 2, and as we all know, 4 times 2 is 8, so this is 9 to the power of 8. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this a little bit. x to the power of 4 times x squared, well, when we have, let's say, a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we simply just add these two exponents, right? So now we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to add these two exponents. So these two exponents add 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is x to the power of 6 times x. And x is the same thing as x to the power of 1, right? So 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is x to the power of 7. And this still equals 9 to the power of 8. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the root of 7 on both sides. We're going to take the 7th root on both sides so that we can cancel out this, this exponent here, 7, and just leave x as normal. So if we take the 7th root on both sides, 
well, first of all, these two just cancel out. So we're left with x equals, well, 9 to the power of 8 to the 7th root. That's the same thing as 9 to the power of 8 over 7. It's the same thing as that. And this is our answer.